Oh, slow bump into the face! <laughs> Suck it! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into one of my all time personal favorites Batman Arkham Asylum. This is the game that lets you be Batman. You know, many Batman games before this game just were like brawlers or whatever, and there were a number of like good games. But Batman is a fighter. He uses fear, he uses stealth, he uses his mind and wit, he has traps, he's a detective. He's not just beating up villains, he's stopping elaborate plans. This game lets you live that fantasy. You literally felt like you were Batman. Um, I might even consider it the best Batman game ever made. And yes, I'm saying that uh, with full knowledge that there were sequels to this game that had more features, but there's something about this game that I think just elevates it in my mind um, and makes it perhaps one of the best Batman games ever made. I mean, just listen to that opening music for a second here, uh, folks. Like, it's just chilling. It's so Batman. It's so Batman. It's Batman. Um, I was obsessed with this game. Uh, absolutely obsessed. And as you can see, here are my profiles from uh, dating back from around 2010 to around 2013. Um, I only play the game on hard. I think I had a normal profile. I deleted it a long time ago. And uh, we will get to the game in a second, but I just wanted to brag for just a second. I'm going to go into my main profile here. If you go into challenge mode in this game, oh, by the way, it's like absolutely everything 100% because, again, I love this game. I played it four times on hard. Um, but if you go into the challenge mode, you can basically go and uh, sort of get into uh, brawl modes and try and place in like the... the you know, entire world. And my rankings um, obviously are no longer number one, but for some, it, it's kind of nice actually what the, the PlayStation Network does is it holds the spot from when you were last uh, played. And so when I last played this challenge, I had the number one rank uh, at 54,000. Um, it's not a bug. It's, it's hard to exactly describe what's going on here, but since I have played, people have done much better than me. Um, but in these challenge modes, we have to go in and basically beat up a bunch of thugs. You know, I was 38th uh, in the entire world here. Um, let's see this one. There's a, no a couple of number ones. Yeah, I was number one here. Um, I think I was number one in this one as well. I don't know, 41? Okay, whatever. 40, 41st out of all the people on PlayStation Network. I was number one here. Suffice to say, I played the crap out of this game. I was obsessed with this game, and um, I'm not nearly as good as I used to be. I've definitely fallen out of favor, but as you can see, I really enjoyed these challenge maps. I mean, you're supposed to get 30,000 points. I got 106,000, which is not to toot my own horn, but pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Anyway, um, I'm not going to continue to brag because it is uh, beneath a gentleman. Let's just go ahead and start a new game here. And oh man, which profile do we delete? Oh, it's so sad. One of these has got to go. I mean, 2010, that must have been my first one. I don't know why I started another one in 2011. Oh, it's so sad. You know what we're going to do, actually? I'm not going to delete these profiles. I'm going to sign in with a different PlayStation user, and we're going to go ahead and just start something totally fresh here. I mean, it's kind of like I don't know if I'll ever go back and play any of those four profiles. I mean, I haven't really played the game very much since, like, 2013 or 14. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to delete those old profiles because, like, I just spent so much time with this game. If I ever want to go back, I don't want to delete it. So we're going to go ahead and not delete it. Uh, brightness is fine. Subtitles. Wait, we want subtitles on, I think. It'll be easier for you guys to see that what's happening in the cutscenes. I'm going to go ahead and play this on normal. I would normally play on hard, but basically things are just a little tougher on hard. And because I'm going to be talking to you guys as we play, <laughs> or the very brave... I mean, I could probably do it, but uh, we just... Today is just a showcase of this game. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm not trying to impress you people. Um, damn it. I already showed you my high scores. What more do you want? I swear it was good at one point. Um, although, just don't hold me to it these days. So, this game um, has so many cool Batman elements. It's like, I almost feel like I, I don't even know where to begin. Um, first of all, it has 
an amazing Batman story. It has nothing to do with a movie or TV show. It's not based on anything. But what it does have is all the voice actors from Batman the Animated Series. And like this is sort of like what I would imagine a Batman CGI show would have looked like if they had taken the animated series and like rebooted it maybe 10 years after it was off the air for adults. Made it a little more gritty, a little more realistic. I mean, this is, I think, what it would have... Whoa, God, my controller just vibrated. <laughs> this is, I think, what it would have been. Um, so the, the opening story here... Oh, Batman almost wiped out a cop. Batman is basically driving Joker to Arkham. He gets a personal escort. Um, I remember, by the way, when this game was announced, when I first heard they were making a game about Batman Arkham Asylum. And there's Batman and the Joker, by the way. They look totally awesome. <laughs> Um, I thought it sounded kind of like a dumb idea. I was like, Arkham Asylum? Who wants to play a Batman game where you're just locked up in Arkham the whole time? Like, I want one where he's, like, roaming the streets and stuff. I want, like, the Grand Theft Auto of Batman games. Then, this game came out, and I went ahead and downloaded the demo, and it was like... Like, my mind exploded in my head, and I was like pre-order i'm pre-ordering the special edition i bought like this huge box set uh for the xbox 360 it came with like a batarang which i still have which looked metal in the promotional materials but was actually plastic kind of sucked um bam, man batman is ripped eh here's the warden waiting for joker so we're just going to turn him over to uh warden sharpie here there's a lot of interesting backstory here too, by the way. Like this guy is trying to run for mayor, um, and like we're gonna get encounter Commissioner Gordon, and like this guy is a guard who like Joker has some dirt on, and like it's a really fleshed out. It's a surprisingly fleshed out story. It's like really, really good. Um, but anyway, I ordered this special pre-order edition from Xbox, and the funny thing is, I moved to California maybe about six months after that just for a little bit and while I was gone I loaned my Xbox 360 and this game to a friend because I wanted him to play it and I was like I'll be okay not playing Batman for uh, like six months while I'm out in California while I was there this this is like perhaps I shouldn't be admitting this but I missed playing this game so badly I went to Target in California purchased a PlayStation 3 and this game and then proceeded to play the game in California. So I literally bought an entire new game system just to play this game. Like, how obsessed is that? That is insanely obsessed. Right, guys? I mean, that's maybe I shouldn't admit that. Anyway, that's the PlayStation I currently have. And it is why my PlayStation 3 will forever think it is American, despite the fact that I am a good old-fashioned Canadian, because it was purchased in the good old USA, and you have to register your PlayStation network. Uh, and uh, I had to register in America so I could actually put dollars on my PSN account and, and uh, various technical things. Anyway, we're uh, we're walking Joker here into the asylum. The asylum looks very uh, cool. It sort of has like this interesting mix of like technology, but also like old school mansions. It also feels a bit like Alcatraz. Um, there's sort of some uh, hints of Bioshock in here because all the technology and like the isolation of it all. Um, basically, at this point in the story, um, they just sort of walk you through uh, the asylum, kind of giving you a taste of things to come. I kind of wish you could skip this, because it is essentially just like a cutscene, but there really isn't a way to skip it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use the magic of YouTube to skip past this and actually get to the beginning of the game, because you guys have listened to me talk enough reminiscing about the game. It is time to actually see this mofo in action. All right, so finally we walked Joker through Arkham Asylum. We're now catching up with our old pally pal, Jim Gordon. He is our main ally in our fight against crime here. Now, uh, not to give too much away, but as you can imagine, something is about to happen here. We have what looks like Harley Quinn sitting back in her costume enjoying the TV there. Uh, we're gonna hand Joker off in a second, but things are not gonna go very well. I think he's talking about you, Bats. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome here. Gotta say, it's good to be back. <laughs> you okay? He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. See, that's suspicious to me. Um... <laughs> And, like, if, if I had the Joker in custody, I would not feel safe with, like, one guard. Like, if I was the doctor there, having, like, one, you know, inept guard 
who like clearly is not very good at his job. Like, uh, it looks like he uh, <laughs> he was he was just he was just a pushover for the Joker. Like, look how easy that was. So uh, Joker is now free. Uh, bad stuff is about to happen, and as Batman, it is our job to get him. Come on in. Yeah, look at that. Welcome to the madhouse. It's uh, rather than us taking Joker into the asylum, he has now trapped us in the asylum, and all his thugs that were transferred here from Blackgate are here to sh to basically teach us a lesson. But we're gonna teach them a lesson. You uh, you don't mess with Batman. Okay, so basically the combat in this game is one of the features that it was renowned for. It's very smooth, very easy, very fast. X is, or sorry, not X, square is to strike. And when enemies come up behind you, oh, look at that. I love also how the cape moves so dynamically as he fights. Like, the cape really feels, uh, and, and I know they intentionally did it this way, the cape really has uh, good uh, sort of dynamic features to it. Like, when he's standing, it's sort of like... Uh, is sort of very like draped down uh, just like in the TV show but then when he's like fighting and when he's gliding it like moves around very well but anyway uh, square to strike when enemies are behind you they will have that little uh, spider sense above their head that you just saw there and if you press triangle when enemies are doing that then basically you can counter their move I'm just gonna punch that guy right in the face Kablamo! that's awesome um, now, a cool thing about this game is that you gradually unlock more and more features. So if we go in here to, not character bios, I guess they haven't oh, uh, given us the option yet, but gradually we'll unlock more combat features, we'll unlock more, um, not just combat features, but also, what's the word I'm thinking of? Gadgets, gadgets. Um, you can also like break your way into greats. Kablam! Oh man, look at that. He's just, he's pissed off with that great. So you can go in here. There's a Riddler trophy, by the way. So the Riddler, so all the all the villains have basically uh, been cut loose. And they're running amok in the asylum. And Batman has to go and take them all down. Um, so like the Riddler has hidden trophies all around the asylum just for fun. So that's basically just to give you uh, an excuse to have collectibles. So we'll throw a battering at that thing. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Joker's little teeth. Joker's I'm not going to fall for that. Um, you have unlimited batarangs as Batman, which is totally awesome. We can go ahead and run here. Um, this first level does a pretty good job of sort of introducing you to all the mechanics here. So we just saw fighting. Fighting is... So here, I'll counter this guy. <laughs> Man, it's such a simple system, but it makes you feel like you're so good. And we can, like, beat on a guy when he's on the ground. And we can jab this guy elbow to the face, buddy. He's like, oh, God, what did I do? Well, I guess I attacked the freaking Batman. I guess that was about it. My first mistake was attacking Batman. My second mistake was getting involved in crime with a voice like this. Who will take me seriously? Okay, we have uh, Oracle on my headset here. I mean, like, if you actually want to play this game, I highly recommend playing it and, like, listening to all the dialogue and stuff. It is, it is definitely worth it. But we're just going to be sort of uh, showcasing some of the game's features playing through um, today. So here we go. By the way, Zaz has got some guy kidnapped. So you guys remember Zaz? Zaz is like a bad, bad man. It's hard to see him through the force field. He's there with a the guard. You can talk to the guards and they'll be like, Batman, somebody needs to go save our friend. But I already know what the deal is. I've This, is, this isn't my first rodeo as the Batman. So one of Batman's main features here is being able to grapple his way onto gargoyles. Um, can I grapple? Can I grapple? Do I have to actually talk to the guard? I think I have to talk to the guard and it will let me grapple. So here we go. Stop. Here we go. Got my buddy. He's gonna fry him. Do something. Please. I will. Your eyes also look freakish to me. Do you have a soul? <laughs> Are you just a soulless husk of a person? Strike. He'll see me coming on the ground, so I'll stay up high. Good thinking, Batman. So here's detective mode. In detective mode, oh, you can like see everyone. They're like skeletons. By the way, one complaint about this game is that you need detective mode to like spot special things like that. But 
it almost becomes a crutch where you almost want to play the entire game in detective mode so you don't miss anything. And actually, it definitely is true. It's better to it's almost better to play the game in detective mode. There's no reason to not. In the later Arkham games, they actually changed it so that um, detective mode, it was harder to see some stuff, like harder to walk around the world. So there was an advantage to not using detective mode. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and end Zaz here. Kaboom! Oh, look at the cape! Oh, uh, yeah! Oh, and then we take him down. Kaboof! <laughs> oh, man, the cape, the gliding. I mean, getting up on those gargoyles is totally awesome. This game is really... It's always kind of reminded... Ooh, there's Harley Quinn, by the way. Can we talk about that for a second? She's looking good. Looking nightmarish, also, but looking good. Um, and that is a, a short skirt, let me tell you. Um, this game's always kind of reminded me a bit of Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid was a nether game where you were on an island with a bunch of terrorists and you could fight and you could shoot, but you could you also had to really rely on stealth because if too many guys saw you, you were just dead. Um, now, there are going to be bad guys with guns, and if Batman tries to fight those, they will gun him down instantly. So you do need to use stealth when you encounter those guys. And it's very Metal Gear Solid-y. We have to like sneak around, get guys isolated, sneak up behind them and take them down. Um, and again, this this game is very similar sort of in a uh, story where it's like one hero who's alone on an island. Well, I mean, there's cops and stuff, but they're kind of useless. So it's basically just me. And um, you kind of have to like sneak around and like take bad guys out and like fight bosses and, and open unlock new areas of the island and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, he's talking to Oracle there. Look, this is a destructible room. You can break down this wall once we get our explosive gel, which will come later in the game. We don't have it just yet. She never was very bright. Uh, we're going to go ahead. So Harley Quinn thinks she has us trapped in this room, but she is dumb because we can just literally move a great. Oh, we're being very, like, gentle with this one. I guess there are, like, security guards and stuff around. We don't want them to see us just demolishing, just, like, tearing stuff out of the walls of Arkham. We want to be accountable somewhat. When no one's looking, we'll just use t use our rage on those uh, grates and just tear them out of the wall like an animal. Um, sneaking through the grates is, is totally awesome, too. So, again, there are levels where you kind of have to sneak around through the grates. You have to figure out how to get around enemies and use, like, detective mode to, like, see where people are. Like, look, there's a guy. Is that a good guy or a bad guy? That is a good guy. Just kick this grate off and scare the crap out of him. He... Oh, he, he was a little scared. All right. Oh, and there are these teeth. So destroying these teeth, these teeth don't do anything. But if you do destroy them, uh, if you destroy all of them, you get, like, bonus points and stuff. So, uh-oh. Joker is gassing a bunch of cops. Uh, oh, God. What do we do? I'm the Batman. I need to save these people. Joker toxin. Listen. The room is full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Okay, well, I guess I guess I'm not saving them. Um, how about let's do this. Let's go ahead and hop up here. Uh, by the way, the, and the Batman grapple is, like, so handy. Here we go. He's just going to use his anger this time. There's, there's no ability to control that, by the way. It's like sometimes he's angry and sometimes he's just more chill. He just tears the grates off in his own way. When there are enemies around, he'll try and be quieter, I think. But, like, he won't just, like, blatantly kick open a grate when there's enemies. But, oh, let's let's totally save this guy. Hey, we saved a guard! There you go, buddy. Um, now, a funny little uh, bit of trivia for this game is when this game launched on Windows, there was a cracked version of this game that you could download, like, illegally, basically. And you could get this far in the game, but... Oh, hold on. What, where, what do we have to do? Grapple up here. Okay, I'm going to glide in just a second. So in order to get over there, I have to glide. And you just do it like this. He glides automatically. But in the cracked version of the game, that glide didn't happen. So the developers were very sneaky. If you had the cracked version of the game, you'd get to this point, and you'd just run off, and you'd fall into the gas and die. And uh, people on message boards started posting, like, how the hell do you get Batman to glide? Blah, blah, blah. But it was really funny. Oh, he's even going to save, uh, save uh, an inmate, too. That guy's face is messed up, though. Oh, God! That was not nice! Oh, Batman! Oh, you're so mean! You're so mean! 
Um, so anyway, people would be posting online, how do you get Batman to glide? And all the while, people were like, um, you basically just admitted to stealing the game because you only can't glide if you've stolen the game. So it was like a really funny sort of way for the developers to be like, just pay for our game. It's a good game. Um, boom. See, he use your batarangs to do all kinds of stuff. We're turning on some fans to get rid of that Joker toxin. It's really cool they worked in Joker toxin and stuff like that into the game. Like, there's so many cool things in this game that are, like, relevant to, like, Batman and his villains and stuff. Um, I remember there was another game called Game Dev Tycoon that did a similar thing to kind of uh, give pirates sort of a taste of their own medicine and troll them. Basically, in Game, game Dev Tycoon, you it's a simulation game where you play the owner of a game company and you have to develop video games and sell them and try and turn a profit. And what the developers of the game did is they released a hacked version onto torrent sites where um, pirates would pirate your games and your company would stop making money. And you, oh, right in the back of the head, um, your company would go bankrupt. Oh, right in the groin. Oh, Batman. Oh, Batman. Why? Why? I guess we don't want these criminals procreating and having children. So here's a locked off area. Later in the game, we will be able to get in there. But right now we cannot. Um, yeah, so it's like, you know, I don't condone piracy or anything like that, and I think it's fun, funny when developers find, uh, interesting ways of trying to combat the issue. Um, because definitely, you know, like, you know, we need to support these developers, you know, for these good games. Um, you know, support them. The, that's the only way we're gonna get better games, is like, if somebody makes a good game, you gotta pay for it, so that company is rewarded. You're voting with your dollars, people, right? Anyway, Joker has some kind of, like, weird monster in a cage. Oh, God. <laughs> Remember the days when Batman used to just fight guys in clown masks, and that was, like, Joker's main henchman? Like, where have we cut? We've, we've gone, you know, way off the rails. Double tap to evade. I can do that. Uh, use the evades. Okay. So he's going to throw a body at us. He's, his weapon is literally other people. So you hit him in the face like that, so he gets stunned, and then he hits a wall, and then you can just run up and beat the crap out of him. Um, this is sort of like a prelude for the bosses you're going to be fighting. One criticism of this game, which is fair, is that most of the bosses in this game are just these, like, big giant guys you got to fight. Like, Bane will be a boss. Um, there's a lot of bosses of these big guys. If you get to the end of the game, Joker's like a big guy like this. Like, everyone... Everyone just turns into a giant monster. You gotta fight like a big guy. In Arkham City, in the sequel... Oh, God, right into electricity. In the sequel to this game, they actually mixed it up a bit. And, for instance, like, you fight Mr. Freeze in that game, and his is one of the coolest boss fights uh, in all games. Uh, this game also has a fight with Killer Croc, which people complained about as being a really slow boss fight. But actually, I'm really hoping we can get to that point, because I want to show you guys there's a way to play that boss level that actually changes it from, like, a slow boss fight into, like, an action-packed, awesome boss fight. It's really interesting, because the game was never meant to be played that way, but you totally can play it that way, and it just makes it more fun, I think, so. Uh, that's my goal. Oh, he's having a heart attack. <laughs> uh, oh, God! I shouldn't have smoked all those cigarettes! I shouldn't have eaten all that fast food! Uh. His heart just crapped out on him. I guess that's what you get when you make giant mutated monstro man, Joker. He's uh, he's sad that his test subjects uh, are are not making it. So Joker's big plan is to make an army of giant monster men, and we're gonna try and stop him because that's what we do. We are anti giant monster man. He's giving us an opportunity to kill him, but we cannot take it because Batman doesn't kill. I think Batman, you know, like, some people complain that Batman doesn't kill. But I actually, I don't mind it because it's like, from Batman's perspective, like, to kill the Joker is the easy way out. Like, what he wants is he wants the Joker to turn sane. It's like, that would be a true victory for Batman. Like, just killing your enemies. I mean, think about this, too. I, I, I was trying to think the other day, like, what supervillain said this? You know, like, just killing your enemies is not necessarily, like, a victory. What you want is your enemies to uh, re realize that you were right and they were wrong and to come to your side. That's like a true victory, and that's what Batman's going for. 
I mean, if he just kills the Joker, then he's admitting that every time there's a crazy criminal, we just have to kill them. There's no other solution. But that's not going to lead to a better world. That's just treating the symptom, not the problem. Batman wants a world where the Joker's are able to be turned sane again, where the the violent criminals can become normal people, where people can be rehabilitated. And I think, like, I honestly, if you think about it, I think that's a a better way. Anyway, uh, we're getting, like, metaphysical here. Congratulations, you've unlocked Wayne Tech Upgrade. Fill the XP meter to upgrade the bat suit and gain enhanced skills. So our first skill is the ability to throw a man. (laughs) I don't know if we want that one. All these are not available. Oh, here we go. Um, powers up the Batarang during combos, so that's going to be useful. Doubles the normal power, we don't care about that. Inverted takedown, those are kind of cool. We don't need the armor upgrades, I'm not going to take that much damage in this game. Uh, Batarang power, who cares about that? Twin Batarang is cool, you can throw two Batarangs at once. Uh, the remote control Batarang is also pretty cool. Um, is there anything else here? Okay. Um, the Throw would be useful for having longer combos, but it doesn't really matter. We're not really worried about longer combos. Combo Batarang might be kind of cool. Uh, inverted takedowns are pretty neat. I'll have to show you guys one of those. Batarang power we don't care about. Let's do... And re- remote Batarang is actually pretty cool. Let's do the uh, let's do the combo... No, let's do the remote Batarang. I'm just trying to think of like what would be cool to see. I guess you guys want to see like more things. So the combo Batarang just basically means when you're in the middle of a fight, you can, like, whip a Batarang really quick and stun a guy. But, like, we don't really need that at this point. So let's go ahead and go for a uh, a uh, remote control Batarang so we can select it this way. So when you throw the remote control Batarang, it's, uh, you know, a remote control Batarang. You get to control it. I was piloting it right there. Um, it actually is pretty useful. There are certain puzzles in the game that you need to use the remote control Batarang to solve. Here's another Riddler trophy. The Riddler has still not, like, identified himself to us, so we're just collecting, whoops, we're just collecting all these trophies, being like, huh, this kind of looks cool. I'm going to add this to my bat collection of bat trophies. All right, let's talk to the guard here. So he was he was hiding in here while we were fighting the monster man with uh, heart palpitations. Here. Powered up the gate. Must have passed out. Good job, buddy. Powering up that gate must have taken a lot out of you. <laughs> I closed the door. And it was too much. I awoke several hours later after having fallen unconscious. Also, this guy looks just like the other guard that I saw a little while ago. All right, so we're just waiting for the guard to do stuff here. Having a little trouble up there? Joker. You were expecting maybe Two-Face? There's no escape, Joker. Silly bat. I don't want to escape. I'm having way too much fun. I even have you here to give a smile on my face. Not for long. <laughs> I like Batman's like one-liners. They're like very basic. He's a basic. He's a basic bat. Um, I guess they're gonna kidnap Commissioner Gordon though. Yeah, see that cop is a bad dude. Officer Bowles. See, there's like plots and schemes. This is not just a regular beat 'em up, guys. We got stuff to do. He's looking forward to it. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go try and save Commissioner Gordon here. <laughs> Best I can do is open the door you came in. Sorry. All right, just do it, man. I got a, I got a police commissioner to save. Oh, wasn't too smart. He'll have left a trail. Well, I hope so, at least. All right, so here's where we are, and there's where we got to be. So up and to the left, and then to the right. We can do that. I'm just going to do some a bit of light cardio to, to get myself uh, ready for this. Okay, come on. Oracle, you're interfering with my cardio. Just going to hop my way to victory here. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe, let's just run. Let, let's not be too silly here. Um, I guess, you know, being in a police... Or not a police, but a uh, like a prison riot would actually be terrifying. Like if prisoners took over a prison or whatever. Uh, but Batman, he ain't got no fears. Pretty sure I'm going the right way here. Um, that looks like a dead person. So we can quick batarang these guys. Who? Then we can stun this guy. We can beat him up. Kaboom! And then we can land on this guy and slam him in the face and land on this guy and slam him in the face. Oh, yeah. Once we get to the part where we're fighting, like, 20 dudes in a room, it's actually kind of funny because, like, <laughs> it's just a pile of bodies. If you knock these guys down in the in the wrong uh, way, so when you use your takedown move, it's like you just land on a guy and slap him in the face like this. But if you're on the other side of him, you'll land on... You'll, your face will be, like... Or your butt will be on his face and you'll punch him in the nuts. <laughs> like... 
I hope we get to see that. Uh, I've always thought that was a hilarious takedown move. Just jump on a guy, sit on his face, and punch him in the nuts. <laughs> That's the Batman way. Okay, we're going to see our first detective mode here. Two, we have like a little cordoned off crime scene here. And then we go... And we scan. Hmm, this seems to be alcohol. I think I can track the alcohol. Kind of reminds me of like in the uh, Dark Knight movie, the Christopher Nolan one, where he has his like bat vision. Um, so anyway, now we have, oh God, we're right into electric field. Okay, I guess the old, uh, the old uh, detective mode vision here does not make it easy to see this stuff. Anyway, um, we are tracking vaporous alcohol in the air. I don't know if that's a real thing. I don't know if police can actually do this. But uh, basically, you got to follow this, and this will lead us to that cop who betrayed Jim Gordon. So, this is like the extent of the detective stuff in this game. I know in the later Arkham games, the detective stuff got uh, better. Basically, where like you could like reconstruct crime scenes and stuff like that. So there was a little bit more detective stuff. But you know, just the fact that they're making a token effort here, I'm fine with that. I mean, the one thing is, if you put too much detective stuff in, I think it takes away from the action of a game. And you definitely want a Batman game to be actiony. Um, but there are puzzles and stuff you have to solve. So like, I was always very satisfied with this level of um, this this level of detective work. Anyway, there's Harley Quinn. She's here to slow us down. Joker never wanted to kill Batman. He just wanted to have some fun with him. So he is preparing a party for us. And he's just not ready for us to uh, come just yet. So they decided to throw an elevator at me. It happens. Oh, God. Man, okay, notice how Batman's shirt is sliced there. It's cut up. One of the coolest things of this game is that this game takes place in one night. And if you play the entire game... He slowly gets battle damage by the end of the night like his cape is ripped and his suit is like scarred up and he he's like a little beaten and stuff like he gets battle damage. So by the end of the game you really look like you've taken some damage. It's so awesome. There's so many like little touches to this game. Like it's hard to again like I wouldn't have thought of that initially but like now that I'm playing the game I'm totally remembering about it. So it's really kind of neat to be playing this game again and like be able to come back and like uh, and notice this kind of stuff. So I always loved the battle damage. It was so cool. Here, by the way, is a patient tape, patient interview tape. This is Harleen Quinzel. A cool thing is you can listen to these interview tapes just while you're playing. So you kind of get like a background. These interview tapes are like of the criminals after they were caught or before they became criminals. So it kind of gives you some interesting backstory. Again, just like a nice little touch that like helps the world feel deeper and bigger than um, just looking for where I have to hop up here. Uh, it helps the world feel bigger and deeper, and it, it really feels like the people who made this game like just loved Batman. They just like loved the villains and everything. They wanted to really world build here. Um, and I think they really did a fantastic job with it. Um, you can, by the way, pop in, and there are character bios. Yeah, so you can see like all these different villains. Who's that? Frank Bowles. Um, oh, he's the guard who betrayed Jim Gordon. He here's the warden. So you can go in and you can like read about all these people, and you can like find out all sorts of cool information. Here's Batman, by the way. When his parents were gunned down in front of him, young Bruce Wayne, blah blah. We all know the story. He's a, f a philanthropist from uh, Gotham City with blue eyes and black hair. Six foot two. My God, the man is a beast. And there's his attributes. Oh man, Batman is totally awesome. There's just so much to this game. It's 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 just awesome. Anyway, so we are sneaking our way up an elevator shaft to try and catch up to the Joker. Um, this part is always a little tricky. I always kind of remember you kind of have to like look around, and see like where am I going next? Um, it's hard to sort of see vertically where you're going, but but basically the the answer is up. You just want to go up. Um, the game is very easy to move around in. You just kind of like run and jump and. Batman does the rest. For it, it, it is interesting, like how much this game makes you feel like Batman, like the old bats. Um, you just feel like powerful, and like I think one thing that I've complained about in other old retro games is like control. Like sometimes the games don't have good control, but this game has like very good control. Like everything you feel like you want to do, it does. By the way, here's an a wall that uh, we need explosive gel to get through. On the other side, 
is a relic of Arkham. Arkham not only has housed Batman's greatest villains, but it also has like weird Victorian era. I don't want to say ghosts, but like, because it doesn't actually have ghosts. There's no ghosts in this game, but it does sort of have like a, a weirdly macabre kind of Edgar Allan Poe history to it. And I actually loved that that was in the game too. And there is actually a little bit of a mystery of people who were admitted to the asylum decades ago, but they sound like the modern criminals, like Joker and Killer Croc and stuff. And I won't spoil anything, but you have to find all those relics of Arkham to kind of figure out what's actually going on. And uh, it is uh, really cool. So we want to go up here. Whoa! <laughs> that was always... I love when Batman grapples. It's so awesome. Um, while we're climbing this elevator shaft, what else can we talk about? I guess this game also kind of feels a bit like Die Hard. Like if Die Hard was a game. Um, oh, here we go. The first relic of Arkham. Because uh, in Die Hard, you know, it's it's John McClane running around, trying to sneak around. There's terrorists and stuff. Well, Batman is obviously a little more powerful than John McCain. And John McCain? Is it John McCain? Yeah. What? McClane! John McCain is the politician. Oh, God. Okay, let's scan this. My brain is clearly turning to mush. I am the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. This part is cool. For my actions, I have saved this. Oh man, are you are you kidding? <laughs> Hold on, let's go back to that. I want to hear the the Amadeus Arkham stuff. Uh, here we go. Deciphered messages. I am the spirit. Bring it on. Are you kidding? They 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 terminated it again. Okay, we'll have to listen to this in a second. Uh, clearly, I have to beat these guys up first. He's here. Yes, I am here. Give me your best shots. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh, I punched him in the butt. Okay, let's do this. This, this. Oh, I punched this guy. Oh, the dads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I broke my combo. So basically, to keep the combo going... Oh! 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 They had to censor that, because I think it was nothing but nut shots. To keep the combo going, you just have to keep hitting guys, and if you hit a button uh, to try and, like, counter a guy and there's no one around or something like that, you break your combo. Or if you punch and there's no one there, so you just hit the air, you break your combo, so... It's not that hard to learn. It's actually super satisfying when you get good at it. Um, again, I, I used to play this game so much that, like, um, I... I just, I, I got really, it became like second nature to do these like combos and stuff. Um, and I would just like turn on some music in the evening and just like play for a couple hours, like zoning out, beating up thugs. <laughs> it was like how I spent my spare time. <laughs> oh man, okay. So uh, we kind of have to go. So there's there's thugs over there, by the way. Joker's men have taken control they have guns. The so if I walk out there, they will just shoot me down. It will just shoot me down. So what I gotta do is go up and above them. Oh, I'll be smart, all right. I'm gonna turn off my detective mode vision because we don't need it anymore. So you can like sneak up behind these guys and like suffocate them. <laughs> I like how their buddy was like mid-sentence before he was like, and like they they weren't phased by that. It's like, hey man, how you doing? Well, I'm okay. It's like, huh? Oh, sounds like you're having a good day. <laughs> like they're just not, not worrying about it. Also, they don't have shoes. Walking around barefoot in a prison like this, you're bound to catch some kind of disease, man. You should get find some shoes. Forget about taking the guns from the guards. Take the shoes, man. We're just finishing off the Arkham. Oh, look who it is! <laughs> <laughs> he was like mid-report to the Joker and I took him down. If you walk up and just hide behind him, Joker will say stuff. He'll be like, I think I see a batch behind you or something like that, I seem to recall. It's actually pretty funny. Um, the game is pretty good about having stuff like interact with you. Like, uh, if you just if you just stand there for a while, Joker will sort of talk to you and taunt you and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Alright, we have another upgrade. What are we going to upgrade this time, folks? Uh, we haven't used a remote battery. I guess we should do that. Special combat throw. <laughs> Learn how to throw a man. We're not there yet. We're not ready for the throw. Uh, I don't need the combo critical strike thing or the battering. But how about the inverted takedown? Just to show you. The inverted takedown is something I would not normally get because you don't need it 
at all so i'd get a different ability that's more useful for building up combos but again the inverted takedown looks pretty cool so let's uh go ahead and, and take it so see now i'm kind of like sneaking out of the vents i didn't like kick that one out aggressively and we go we suffocate this dude okay now so this is a room full of dudes with guns. I'm gonna get up here and we can sort of survey the situation. Oh, there's only two guys, actually. I kinda wanna take this guy down inverted though. So you can also, by the way, like take them down through the glass. <laughs> Blam! Oh, that, that would be terrifying. What the? You can get in grates and you can like, uh, hide behind guys when they run past you can like pop up and like take them down uh where's that last guy though so it behooves you to keep an eye on like where guys are because you don't want to uh lose track of guys um i think i think there are modes you can play where like you can't turn detective mode on it's actually trickier so he's the last guy you can look at him when there's only like one guy left i get really jumpy see how jumpy he is he knows the Batman's coming for him. Man, if you knew the Batman was just lurking around, <laughs> ready to, like, take you down, I'd be jumpy, too. We definitely want to do an inverted... Oh, look, he's, like, so scared, he's, like, shooting at shadows. He's like, I didn't sign up for this. I'm nothing. Leave me. Please. <laughs> I'm not worth a bullet, please. Okay, we totally got to do an inverted takedown, though. He's getting scared. Stupid boy, look, scared the crap out of me. Oh, man. <clears throat> um, no, I don't want to do a glide kick. Inverted takedown. Inverted takedown. Inverted takedown. <laughs> oh, there he goes. And then he just, like, passes out from, like, blood rushing to his head. <clears throat> so there you go. That's the inverted takedown. Uh, money well spent, right? Like, I could have taken him down any number of ways. I did not need that inverted takedown. It was kind of a waste of money. Or bat points, or... Why does Batman need to unlock anything, to be totally honest? Can't... He, he's Bruce Wayne. Shouldn't all his unlocks be done? Like, he's he's been Batman for a number of years. Shouldn't his unlocks be all done by now? I guess it doesn't make a lot of sense when you, uh, try and scrutinize it. Um... So, maybe we can just, like, inverted take down this guy, too. Nah. Let's see if we can, like, sneak up behind him and, like, suffocate him. <laughs> Silent takedown! Oh, punch of the gut! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can, like, pull them over ledges, too. Okay, so where, where are these guys? There's one down there. Oh, shoot, there's one, like, right over here. Oh, I can't believe he didn't see me! <laughs> okay. Corner cover becomes this way. You can like also like pop out from around the corner and like pull them down. Um, hold on. What an interview tape. Let's listen to a Harley Quinn interview while we stalk this man like a dog. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I'm trying to get fancy with my takedowns, and uh, they totally saw me. So once they see you, it's like Metal Gear Solid. We Oh, God! Oh, God! No, Batman, don't die! I can't die on live YouTube! People will never forgive me! They won't believe that I'm good at this game! Run! So all you have to do is sort of, like, run away for a bit. And, uh... They, they lose your scent. They're pretty dumb. Oh, we should, we should totally use a remote control battering on one of these guys. So here we go. Here's the battering. It's coming right for you, buddy! Right! for you around the boiler and oh right <laughs> missed him uh oh we better get out of here because he probably knows where that came from he's probably like what the hell was that okay i really want to pull this guy over a ledge here we go here we go we got it we got it nope 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 come back come back <laughs> damn it you serious you serious right now all right, to hell with it. We're just gonna <laughs> just land on him. <laughs> That's how you take a man down. You land on him. And when you do like a noisy takedown, they like hear you basically. So 
There's like no secret. He's like, man down. It's like, there's no one left, dude, but you. Oh, what the heck? What was that? Where did he go? <laughs> You're nothing. Punch to the back of the head. Pretty sure we like curb stomped him. Oh, his hand's like jittering. I think we might have killed him. We, we definitely caused some neurological damage. All right. Well, we didn't get to see a uh, we didn't get to see a, uh, a ledge takedown, but it's cool. You like bang their head on the uh, the railing, and then you like pull them overboard. There's like a Riddler thing right around here. I think I think here it is. You have to like solve these like Riddler kind of like puzzles. So see how it makes a question mark there, you know? So it's like there's there's all sorts of these like little Riddler puzzles. I think the Riddler hasn't revealed himself to me yet, so I can't solve that puzzle, but. You just scan them with your bat thing, and you get points. You get Batman. Batman feels proud when he does it. He feels good about himself. Anyway, here's that guard, by the way, who betrayed Jim Gordon. He uh, did, did not look like Joker really rewarded him for anything. Looked more like, uh, you know, if it were me, the lesson I would take from this is don't ally yourself with the Joker, because things will probably end poorly. Um, now I think the Riddler starts talking to us around here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, here he is. Can you hear me, Batman? Yes, it is I, Edward Nigma, the Riddler. And more importantly, you're... He's hacking my bat suit, folks. My genius has allowed me to easily hack into your primitive communications. <laughs> Fiend. My goal is simple. You complete a series of amusingly taxing <laughs> challenges, and, well, you'll see. Ready for your first Can one? I scan this one? Good. But be careful. Don't cut yourself on this sharply observed portrait. Uh, okay. So we gotta go find a portrait of Warden Sharp. Blink. So you did it. Well, that's like the easiest riddle ever child to work that one out, let alone the world's greatest detective. <laughs> so those are all the Riddler stuffs in this room. So see, I've gotten a handful of these trophies already. Um, basically, every area of the map has Riddler stuff, and some of them are like mysteries, some are trophies. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's like, gives you sort of something to work towards uh, while you're playing the game. But like, I don't know. <clears throat> I only ever collected all the Riddler stuff in like one or two playthroughs of this game. It's not really worth it to me to go through and like scrutinize. You know, like I like fighting the criminals, beating the Joker, beating the bad guys. Like that's the more fun stuff for me. Joker's army coming through. To him. Was anyway, this guy is giving us some backstory, which we do not need. Just get out of my way, buddy. Let me do Batman things. I'm Batman. Let me do Batman things. Cops are dying all over the place. They're not cops, security guards, or whatever. Another cool thing about this game is there's almost no load times. Um, they have this little animation when you walk through a door, and it takes a second, but I'm pretty sure the, most of the game loads in that time. I think there's a few times where there will be a load time in the game, but it's, like, very seamless. I've always kind of admired that they did that in this game, because one thing I hate about modern games is load times. Although I feel like... Well, I don't know. I was going to say I feel like load times are a thing you don't encounter too much anymore, but no, no, you do you do encounter them. It's nice when the developers hide it so, like, you can't really see, like, in the time it takes you to, like, get near um, near the uh, end of a level, they start loading the next one, so it's just seamless. Anyway, we are, we've are we made our way out of the original Arkham building that we were trapped in there, the intensive care unit, and now this is Arkham Island. You can see Wayne Enterprises in the background there. So you don't get to roam around Gotham in this. We just hang around Arkham Asylum. Which again, a lot of people wish this game was open world. But like, we got Arkham City and Arkham Knight where that is much more open world. And those games are, are great games too. But actually I feel like there's something lost a little bit when you go to open world games because the rooms and stuff are not crafted as carefully. And like the encounters are just more generic and like procedurally generated as opposed to like handmade um and the handmade encounters i think are um they're just more carefully constructed for the environment it's hard to describe but like you'll if you play these games you'll definitely get a, a sense that there's a slightly different feeling between arkham uh, city or arkham knight and arkham asylum here this one feels more contained this one feels more like a linear game where the others are just essentially open world games 
Um, and I always thought I would have leaned towards an open world Batman over a linear one, but I think the experience here just more carefully crafted, and that's why uh, that's why I enjoy it a little bit more. Um, now, where the hell am I going? Is the question. Two hostiles. Wait, there's two hostiles? Where? Those guys? They look like good guys. They don't look like hostiles. There's like the, uh, oops. There's the, uh, greenhouse over here. Hint, hint, we might be encountering poison ivy in this game if there's a greenhouse. Um, where the heck am I supposed to go, though? Pretty sure the mansion? Yes? Maybe? Well, we're going in the mansion anyway, so either it's the way to go or... We're being misled here. That's what this guy has to say. You. Have you caught Joker yet? I no. have not, but I will. I'm I on it. You to stay here. I'm working on it. Trying to get into Doing batman -y things. Whatever you say. All right, yeah, don't let anyone in the mansion. Uh, except me, though, would be the one rule. Okay, well, I guess we're not going in there. Where, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Uh-oh. Batmobile sensor. Oracle. Who's attacking the Batmobile? Okay, hold on. The Batmobile. I didn't even know it was here. But we're so somebody is messing with our car. Unacceptable. We may be a billionaire, but we're not uh, made of Batmobiles. Wonder actually, does Bat Batman must have spare Batmobiles? The man has spare everything. I feel like in my life, I always plan for contingencies. Like I always want to have backups of everything. Like when I buy toothpaste. I want to buy like four things of toothpaste. When I buy literally anything, any things in addition to toothpaste, I also buy multiple copies because like, oh God, there were guys with guns there. There were totally guys with guns there. Wasn't even paying attention. Um, let's just suffocate them in my armpit. Smell my sweaty pit. I've been running around all night. How do you like that? You smell my, no, you don't smell anything. I'll just suffocate you. Just brutally suffocate you. Um, but yeah, my, my I, I have backups of things, and I feel like it comes from me loving Batman as a kid. Like, I used to watch the animated series all the time. Um, it's just like the man is, like, always prepared. And it, it kind of taught me as a kid, like, yeah, like, why not always be prepared for things? It's so much more badass. Nice try, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man, I'm messing up the combos like crazy here. Here we go. We gotta get into a groove with these guys. Kablam! Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Kaboom! Right in the hip. <laughs> You're never gonna walk straight again. <laughs> How dare you damage the Batmobile. I need my uh, explosive gel that I keep safely in the trunk of my old Batmobile. So we finally got our first gadget. This gadget is totally awesome. You can use it to access new areas of the island by just blowing up walls. You can also like uh, set up traps that, um, oh, I need to search the area around the Batmobile. Um, you can also set up traps so you can like rig a wall to explode and then when an enemy walks around near it, you can uh, just detonate it and like the wall just like demolishes the guy. All right, so there's Jim Gordon's pipe. Now we can follow Gordo's tobacco trail, which seems to be leading over here. Exactly. He's left me a trail to follow. He's alive, Barb. He's alive. I will find him. I'm going to have to find another way around to get back. Good thing I got this explosive gel here. We'll turn detective mode off so you guys can witness it in all its glory. Also, Batman's so badass, he doesn't have to get away from the explosion. He just, like, takes it. He's like, a wall just exploded in front of me, so what? I warn you, he may look like an idiot and talk like an idiot, but don't let that fool you. I don't look like an idiot. You look like an idiot. I thought that said Adam West for a second, but it said Arkham West. I uh, I did watch the Adam West cartoon show when I was a kid. Or not cartoon show, the live action show when I was a kid. It was so silly, it could have been a cartoon show. Um, but... Uh, I liked it as a kid, but like as an adult, obviously, I kind of feel it's a little silly. I prefer the the real Batman. Um, hello, we're just gonna take you down real quick. That guy's just still hammering. They're building me a, a surprise, by the way. That's what these thugs are doing. But I don't like surprises. I like to be the one surprising you. Surprise! I'm gonna, that's like the worst surprise ever. 
when Batman sneaks up behind you and just suffocates you. That's the surprise you don't want from the Batman. Um, but yeah, in my mind, like, Kevin Conroy is just like the Batman. Um, and I think that's another reason why I love this game when it came out, is like it had Kevin Conroy's Batman. Um, is this a guard or a bad guy? Batman, what's going on? It's like the same guard we've been encountering the entire game. Anyway, you can talk to these guys and get backstory. We don't care. <laughs> Kevin Conroy's Batman does not have time for you, silly god, man. All right. Glide our way over here. Into the medical center. I'm just looking for thugs to beat up, man. This is taking too long. Where are all your thugs? Reveal your thugs to me, Joker. It is the bat. Surprise! I got surprises of my own, folks. Ah, damn it. It is cool how when you get hit, you kind of get, like, blurry vision. Like, you actually got hit. I always thought that was really cool. Or, like, oh, God. In games. Um, oh, man. I'm really not in the groove here. In games where you're, like, near an explosion, after the explosion, to hear the, like, high-pitched kind of humming sound that you would get if you were actually near an explosion, I always thought that was cool. Boom, boom! Oh, slow bump into the face! <laughs> Suck it! Get a real haircut, man. You're not a you're not a stegosaurus. You don't need no spiky mohawk. Batman does not approve that haircut. Uh, Mark Hamill also is kind of like the definitive Joker in my mind. Although like Heath Ledger's Joker was like freaking amazing. I think those are my two favorites. I think um, Romero, Caesar Romero from the Adam West Batman. Speaking of the Adam West Batman, uh, like I, he might he was a fine Joker I think in the context of the Adam West Batman game. By the way, Harley is here. She's got Jim Gordon tied up. We can't get through here. We got to find another way in. But I, I still can't get over the fact that the the Joker in the Adam West Batman literally has a mustache. Like if you go and watch it, he has a mustache. He's just painted over it. It's like the guy couldn't even be bothered. He's playing one of the most iconic villains of all time. Couldn't be bothered to like trim his mustache so that he didn't look like all like freakish like joker doesn't have a mustache and he certainly wouldn't paint over it if he did it's just terrible anyway uh we can't get into the medical center the normal way there's this wall that i can just straight up explode so i mean i don't know why i couldn't have done that right in front of harley and like blowed up the medical gate or whatever the electric gate but whatever batman likes to pick and choose the walls he explodes he, he i guess maybe he's being careful to not take on like a structurally important wall but he has no respect for grates. No respect. <laughs> He'll just tear that grate off with his teeth if he has to. Okay, so we're sneak. What? What's happening there? Sneaking in, sneaking in. John McClaning it up. Not John McCain. I don't think John McCain was ever trapped in the Nagasaki building with terrorists and had to sort of fight his way out. Um, although he could have. He could have. I mean, I don't know all of John McCain's personal history. But he could have. Uh, we're going to grab this thing. Sneak our way back here. Okay, so here we go. It's a room full of thugs. We're going to have to plan our attack very carefully. There's some fun stuff you can do in this room with the explosive gel, by the way. Um, and we're going to do it. So see that wall over there? Maybe you can't see it. See that wall that the guy's standing in front of? This is like the perfect wall to... Uh, Wait, <laughs> whoa, wait, wait, what, what just happened there? He like hung upside down for for no reason for a second. So you rig this up. I like how he even sprays his little like explosive gel in the shape of a bat signal. And let's see. I also want to try and like pull one of these guys over a railing. I'm going to make this happen. Here we go, here we go. Bonk. <laughs> so he's done. Oh god, there's a guy right there, isn't there? Oh my god, this is not gonna go well. Okay, just take this guy out. Oh god, get the hell out of here! This is not how Batman's supposed to operate! Okay, get over here. <laughs> Flee to safety. Oh, they're like shooting at the gargoyles. Um, I think, I don't know if it's in this game, but in one of the games, they will actually try and shoot the gargoyles away like destroy them okay let's get our explosive gel ready if that guy gets too close to that okay here we go i'm gonna turn off the detective vision zoom in 
Kaboom! <laughs> he was just taken out in a barrage of, uh... A barrage of... Oh, God! No, they're gonna shoot me. Oh, my God. Woo! Things are getting intense here. So this is not how you're supposed to play. You're supposed to be far more methodical than this. I'm kind of rushing through this. Okay. If we glide down to this guy, we can probably take him out silently before the other guy even knows what's going on. It is really fun. So I feel like these sections are kind of like puzzles. And it is really fun to find out, to figure out like a sequence in which you want to take them down and use your gadgets and stuff like that. So um, you can do this. You can play this section like very methodically and it's pretty fun. But we're just uh, gonna rush our way through this. So we took a few bullets. Look, Batman doesn't get it right 100% of the time and neither does Gaming J. So, so, you know, it happens. All right, let's destroy these teeth so that they stop terrorizing the doctors. Oh, look, there's an explosive wall over here too. Is there something behind here? Better check, hope this wall isn't load bearing. Boom. I love how he's so badass, he like does not, he's not even phased by the fact that the entire wall exploded in front of him. If an explosive had the power to detonate an entire wall, I feel like it might mess a normal person up. So there's a bunch of doctors sort of being kidnapped. These guys are just, <laughs> there's two free doctors who are not doing anything to help their compadres who are like chained up to chairs. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously... I think it's Jim Gordon. We heard gunfire. Oh no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen went to surgery. Why would you go to surgery in the middle of, like, a prisoner takeover? I don't know, just... Seems like, seems like poor decision-making skills to me. Alright, maybe we should finally unlock the ability to throw a man. What do you guys think? Uh, that, or the combo battering. Eh, it would help us with combos, but... Critical strike, we don't care about... Um, nor do we care about armor, this, the battering power. It looks like, doesn't it look like that's the warden there? Like, one of his power-ups is, like, to, like, stun the warden. Uh, twin battering, doesn't care. We have the remote. Um, auto prox. So you can make your explosive gel basically turn into mines, and you can, like, uh, place them strategically on the level, like, at the top of stairs. Then when bad guys climb up the stairs, they're automatically blown off, and they, like, fall and get knocked unconscious. Um, we don't really need that either. That's kind of a fun one, but... Let's have the ability to throw a man. Look at that. He's just whipping him across the room. Special combo throw. We can also get special takedowns, and uh, this will make our combos a lot better. We've just been punching guys to death, but we can we can actually like break their arms and stuff. So, okay, before we go down to the morgue, which obviously that seems like a terrible place to go, just inviting danger, we're going to go and try and save those two doctors. So you do have health in this game, obviously, as you saw, I was getting shot there and taking damage. But it's actually pretty easy to get health back. Basically, all you have to do is uh, beat up some guys and not get taken down. It's just like instinct for where these these Riddler trophies are, by the way. Like, I'm not even intentionally thinking about it. I hopped in here before I fully remembered what was in here. But, um... Um... Oh my god, what was my train of thought? Oh, the, the health! Yes, the health! Um, basically, if you just beat up a couple of guys, you earn health by beating them up. It's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about health packs or whatever. It's just all you have to do to be healthy again is be Batman. It's like if Batman's not feeling too healthy, he just needs to be more Batman, and then he will be healthy. Like, these guys are like nothing. Come here, buddy. Don't even try it. Okay? I'll take you down, too. With your own pipe! And we'll hit you in the back of the face! And we'll stun you, and then... Punch you into the wall! There you go. Two guys! There, they're nothing. I think these guys you can like knock unconscious if you sneak up behind them. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, whatever. Let's g always give them the first strike. I feel like you want to give them a chance to prove themselves. You can like hop over them too and punch him in the back! Stun him. Oh, I like punch him in the back of the head when he was on the table. Oh, what is happening? Man, Batman has moves. It's funny because it looks like I'm doing like all these sweet combos. Like it reminds me of like people who used to play Street Fighter and they'd be like really good. But like it's just like one button taps. It's just all about timing. Like you don't have to know all these complicated moves like in Street Fighter. All you have to do is know timing, which I kind of like better, honestly. I mean, I mean, you guys know I'm not really good at fighting games. <laughs> 
as you can see from uh, you know any fighting game I've ever played on this channel, except Mortal Kombat. Like the one fighting game I kind of figured out, and not Mortal Kombat 2, not Mortal Kombat 3, but like just Mortal Kombat. Um, there's a guy over there, by the way. Like hanging on for dear life, trying not to fall in the Joker gas. Can we? Can we do this? Can we murder a guy? I don't know if you can do this, but we're gonna throw a remote control battering at him. I'm gonna aim it right at his face. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we knocked him into the gas. Wait, and he's like giggling himself to death. I can't let that man die. I have to clear the room of toxin as quickly as possible. Oh man, taking all the fun out of everything, Batman. Is there anything in here to hit? like a blood bag okay so uh, we need to basically we need to find a way to vent the room um, how do we do this though Let me like jump over here oh god escape escape <laughs> almost fell into the gas myself okay wait so we were supposed I think we were supposed to hit that man into there but like now what Oh look, there's a thing. I found a thing. Clink. Okay, that turns on one fan. So basically, I guess we got to get all three fans, and then we can, uh, then we can like clear the room. So there's probably another thing. Looks like there's something in that room. Like in here somewhere. Garfield. What the newspaper clipping? Um. Okay. Oh, there's a uh, teeth. Let's kill those. I think we already got that thing. See, this is what I mean about playing the whole game in detective mode. Like, you wouldn't see these things if you didn't have detective mode. So it's like, it's harder to notice them at least. So, one criticism of this game is that it was too tempting to play the whole game in detective mode. And then you really lose the atmosphere and stuff. Like, the game looks pretty atmospheric and stuff. There's the third one, by the way. So, did we kill the guy, or is he still alive? Oh, he looks mangled. He might technically be alive, but I don't know what kind of life you could have uh, being mangled up like that. All right, so Cash. Cash is one of the uh, guards. He only has one hand, because Killer Croc bit it off. But he's uh, one of our staunchest allies. Let's check on this guy here. Um, well, he's not that mangled. He's terrified. <laughs> His heart is racing. He's terrified. He's also apparently unconscious or dead. Um, I'm pretty sure that man is dead. So, oh yeah, look, a newspaper clipping for Firefly, too. That's a Riddler thing. You can scan it. Get a little bonus, some bonus points there. Um, I'm not really going to track down a lot of these Riddler things for you guys, obviously, because, like, there's, there's no point. Um, interview tape, though. We will take that. Listen to some Riddler interviews. Who is this Edward Nigma you speak of? Um, okay, so I think we've saved this guy. Oh, wait. This is the room that we were in. It's not where we want to be. Okay, we saved one of three doctors. So what we're going to do is we got two more doctors to save. Let's go save them. And let's get down to the morgue. And I think that that's where we'll wrap up this video. So this is going to be a two-parter, guys. Toy... Havat... Yeah, um, I wonder. I was just wondering if that spelled anything. I don't think it does. Look at all these shotgun shells, too. By the way, oh, there's a present. What the? It was teeth. There were teeth. Why has Joker got so many wind-up teeth? It's like I will terrify him with my wind-up teeth that do absolutely nothing. Um, kind of a cool thing at this part. I always thought is how there's like lines on the floor that guide you to different paths. So we've been down the blue path. Now we can take the red path. And I think hospitals actually do this. To, like guide you to different sections um, the Titan process by the way is the thing that Joker uses to make people giant um, oh here we go here we go but yeah we'll make our way to the morgue and then we'll cut it there but we'll have a two-parter so we'll get a little further in this game because I love my, me some Batman I can't just play for like an hour I need more guys I'm jonesing for some Batman it's Joker TV and it's a trap. Did you do that, Bats? So, okay, if your trap consists of just throwing more of these thugs that I've beaten up very easily in the past, then go ahead and trap me. Oh, you got me. You got me. Oh, it's a highly effective trap here. Oh, man, I can't believe it. I'm being trapped so bad. Here, take a person. I'll do this and this and this. 
and I'll stun you, and I'll hit you, and I'll hit you, and I'll hit you. Oh man, I broke my combo. I was trying to do like the takedown move. It's like second nature to me. Like I feel like all the moves are unlocked. Do you guys ever have that? Where like you're playing a game where like you've definitely beaten it. And uh, you're just like expecting to have like all the moves. But you uh, you don't have them. So like you go to do a move and you don't have it. Whoa! Oh, I'm going to punch him right in the butt. Oh, that's a butt punch. It's like that guy did not fall unconscious, but he felt so uncomfortable after the butt punch. He was like, I feel like that might be sexual harassment. Batman just punched me right in the butt. So he's just like, I'm just, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I feel violated. I tried to tell you, I couldn't speak. You could speak. Your mouth was not gagged. But anyway, it's not a, not a problem. Those thugs are nothing to me. This is a picture of all the bones that I broke. Their coccyx and their hips and their collarbones. You just stay down, buddy. Or you'll get a punch somewhere more unpleasant than your butt. The butt was just the beginning. Some people call me Batman, some people call me Buttman. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting loopy. I've been playing this game too long. Or maybe I've just been talking too long. Um, but yeah, do you guys ever have that where, like, you're playing a game that you really know, you've played a lot, and you get to a point where, like, you just automatically expect to have certain abilities, but you haven't unlocked it yet, and so, like, in my case, I messed up a combo, but, like, um, I mean, I guess it only works if there's some kind of, like, timing thing you have to worry about, like, some kind of combo, uh, but... Anyway, that's why I messed up my combo. I swear I'm good. I swear I'm good. It's like I want to prove to you guys how good I am at this game. I don't know. Who cares? Who cares, right? There's so many games I've played on my channel that I'm not good at. Like, what does it matter? You guys you guys seem to just like hanging out with me. And I appreciate it. I like that you guys like to keep coming back. That I entertain you. Hopefully as Batman I'm entertaining you. Um, I feel like when I started my channel here, it's like there were a few games that I knew I wanted to do a good job of. Like bat, uh, the Battletech, the Crescent Hawks game, I definitely want to do a good job of because it's like I grew up playing that game. And I feel like this game is another game that I want to do a good job of because it's like one of my favorite games. We'll throw this guy. And then, oh, we, th oh, oh, I think we broke his back in the throw. Yeah, that guy, he's never walking again. Um, I guess Halo I always wanted to do a good job. It's like games that I really, really know well. I just always felt like I just want to do a really good job of. So, okay, here's a bunch of guys with guns. If you just go in there, they're totally going to kill that doctor. So what we're going to do is be a sneaky bat. We're going to sneak around here. And, like, so you can see them in here. Oh, you can't, actually. <laughs> well, whatever. See, the thing with being a thug is you're dumb. And, all right. Is there, like, a better view we can get? Oh, shoot. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I think we, we got the doctor killed. Oops. I forgot there was a window there. Oh, this is cool, by the way. When you lose or when you die, you get these really cool death scenes where, like, a villain will come up and taunt you. So there we died. Oh, whoa. No, don't quit. <laughs> there we died because of the Joker. Um, if you die to, like, Killer Croc or, like, one of the other villains, then, like, they'll taunt you. It's actually really cool. Um, this this game just has so much character and like attention to detail, you know Okay, so we're gonna go around here We're not gonna get the doctor killed this time because apparently that's something you're not allowed to do They don't want you to kill stupid doctors Fine. Let's just see if we can get a good view of this oh, This is a decent view. Oh also a Riddler trophy All right, here we go. Oh, we're spraying one more just for kicks on the ground. Okay, whatever Kablam! Suck wall, you thuggish fools! And somehow, we did not injure the doctor in the slightest. We knocked five human men, full full adult thugs, unconscious. Didn't harm the doctor in the slightest. She every it's it's like a doctor-shaped hole in the rocks just went completely around her. Hello, Doctor Penny Young. What's going on? Not much. They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Well, here's a tip. When you have a bunch of thugs with guns all holding you uh, kidnapped, um, there's a good chance that you're no longer in control. Just saying. Let's see if Joker left me another gift. He's been leaving me a gift every time I save a doctor. Look, here's another gift. But look at this. There's a person in this one. It's the greatest gift of all. Someone to beat up. Aw, oh, how did you know that's what I wanted? Thank you, Joker! 
This is the best birthday ever. <laughs> so those guys are like the knife guys. If you just attack them without stunning them, they like block your attacks. Actually, I guess I should have shown you. I'll show you. Well, there'll be many more thugs with knives before this game is done. So instead of punching, you have to stun first. Stun is with circle. All right, let's select another upgrade here. Uh, we're going to do the combo takedown so we can break some bones. That looks like a weird, decrepit, like, uh, old Batman to me. It looks like Gramps. Gramps Man. Not Batman, but Gramps Man. Oh, wait, what's the next upgrade after this? Special combo boost. Yeah. I guess the combo Batarang is important to get next. Basically, you just want stuff that, like, upgrades your combos. And you actually don't... So if you want to get higher scores in this game, or have more fun at least, you actually don't want to upgrade the damage that, like, your Batarangs and stuff do. Because what you want is to fight guys for longer and have more fun with them. If you upgrade your damage, you just end fights that much faster. Back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. We can't risk Joker getting his hands on them. It's not safe, Doctor. The island's a war zone. You won't stand a chance. It's my life's work. You really don't have the authority to. I'll get to there, Batman. You ask me. It's about time for a little payback. I don't like it, but... I like how Batman's just like, I don't like it. More. Cash, take Dr. Young. Get her notes and then All right. somewhere safe. To Thugs are coming. Batman's got work to do, folks. Everybody get the hell out of here. These guys are going to be nothing. All right. So we'll take this guy down first. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, they're going to kill Batman. Oh, Batman, no. Run, Batman. Run. I'm panicking. Oh, panicking. Okay, I could just die and retry, but no. That's not the Batman way. Okay, but what I did was also not the Batman way. He could come from anywhere. Okay, I could come from anywhere. <laughs> I guess I gotta be just a tad more patient. Fine. We'll be patient. We'll stalk them like dogs. Wait for them to separate one by one before we murder them. See, the problem is they're too bunched up at the moment. You gotta, like, wait for them to separate out. Once they're separated, it's easy to take them down. A funny thing you can do is take one guy down and wait for his friend to discover him. And then when his friend is running over to check on him, you sneak up behind him and take him down. And then when somebody s finds that guy, like you know, it's like an endless cycle where every thug finds the last guy and comes running up, but you get him. And that just lures the next guy. So anyway. Um, come on, guys. Just separate. It's ridiculous. Why are you all hanging around together? Oh, here we go. We can Oh! Oh, no! Get out of there, Batman! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man. I was trying to land on top of that roof because it could be detonated with explosives and use my gel to blow up the roof and crush that guy. Damn. Okay, hold on. We got to try this one more time. We got to try this one more time. I, I told you we're getting to the morgue, and damn it, we're getting to the morgue. Okay. Don't bother me with stuff. I got, I got bat worries. Your, your silly doctor worries do not concern me. I also like how you can like hang upside down if you want, just for fun. That's how Batman lets loose after a long day of beating up thugs. Okay, so put some explosive gel here. Make sure this ceiling is nice and detonatable. Okay, so that trap is set. Meanwhile... Hmm, okay, we can get this guy. This guy is all by his lonesomes. Saga! Okay, we got you. There's another guy coming over. And the last guy's... So you just gotta kind of, like, keep track of where these guys are. It's not too bad. See if we can crush this guy in the roof. I don't know if he's gonna take the bait or not. Where's the other guy, though? <laughs> just don't want them finding me. Come on, man. You know you want to go over here. There are things you can do later in the game that like lures guys to like, oh god, that guy's coming up. Okay. There's things you can do later in the game to like lure guys strategically to like different parts of the map. So you can like make them go where you want. I think if you like throw a batarang, they'll hear it and then they will kind of go to that place. We'll try that in a second actually. Hold on. Okay, so they're both over there. Yes, he's he's unconscious. 
Walk over to the explosive gel. You know you want to. Just keep walking. Do it. Do it. Yes. Yes. Ah ha! Sucker! Okay, where's the last guy? He must be terrified. Oh, there's two guys! Huh. Oh. Oh. Uh, he, he didn't come under the gargoyle. I wanted to, like, inverted takedown him. Oh my god! Get the freak out of there! Batman! Batman! Don't be a fool! Don't be a hero, Batman! Oh my god. How do I... Oh, I can't get out of here. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I think I'm trapped. Batman's never trapped. You can also get smoke bombs in the sequel, which is pretty cool. It's very Batman to have smoke bombs. Okay, this... This guy is the last guy. Did that lure him? No. I'm pretty sure the batterings can lure them. You get like a sonic batarang later on. Which is what you can use. Boom. I like how he just lands on people. It's the Batman way. Condition terrified. He should be terrified. What's his condition now? Unconscious. This guy? Unconscious. See, now the, the, one, the one fatal flaw in Batman's plan here is he's not tying anyone up. Yeah, it's okay to beat these thugs up, but if you don't tie them up, they're just going to come back for you. Like, maybe do something? Handcuff them to a pipe or something? I don't know. In a little metal box hanging precariously over a deadly drop. What say I just blow the emergency brake center off you like a sack of puppies? And this is true too. Joker could totally just kill you. Of course he doesn't. Because he doesn't want to kill you, but he could. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fear. Okay, now for one of my favorite parts of the game, guys. In a way, it's not Halloween yet, but it is October, and so I kind of took that into account when we were playing this game. We we're going to get to Dr. Crane. Oh, oh man, this game handles Scarecrow so well. I'm excited for you guys to see this, if you've never seen it before. Man, that looks terrifying. It's like criminals and doctors alike are being tormented by the Scarecrow. Batman is not happy about the Scarecrow. But he has some explosive gel so he can chase the Scarecrow. <laughs> I like saying that, Scarecrow. Um, now where? Oh. How convenient, just an old like mining shaft in the middle of a hospital. I've heard that most hospitals are riddled with mining shafts. It's a well-believed fact. And here we go. It does make it convenient when uh, criminal uh, supervillains take over hospitals. I'm pretty sure that's why they don't go in and systematically take out the uh, the mining shafts. Oh god, the music got very sort of like horror movie-esque here. And like Arkham and like the whole, I don't know, gothic horror stuff. It just suits Batman so well. Um, but, oh, here we go. We finally got to Jim Gordon. Okay, hurry up, Batman. Don't take, no, no, just take your time. It's no rush. It's only your only ally, Jim Gort Gordon. Oh, he kind of looks dead inside. And on the outside, too, to I'm be sorry, honest. Jim. My eyes are glowing. That is not a good sign. I could be drugged with fear toxin. I will just throw that possibility out there. Barbara, I, I'm sorry. I was too late. I'm sorry. The number you dialed isn't available. God, that's Please creepy. Oh, look at all this freaking bugs. The shadow. Man, this game transitions into like a horror movie so easily. So cool, man. All right, Scarecrow, reveal yourself. The morgue is suitable place to find the Scarecrow. Oh god, that's scary. Oh god. Oh jeez. Get out of here. That is 
is creepy. Um, I, I'm not commenting so much at the moment because I'm a little scared. Just kidding, I'm not scared. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, oh, whoa. What? We're back in the morgue. And now there's body bags. Father. Should God. <laughs> I hope this is creepy to you guys. I hope if you've never seen this before, it's creeping you out. I remember the first time I got to the section, I was like, what is going on? This is so cool. Mom? Help us, Bruce. Don't let us die. Oh my God. Who's going to be in this one? Oh God, it's breathing. Do you see that? Look. Yeah. It's a scarecrow! Oh no! He looked at us! It was so scary! Oh god, even see even Batman gets a little scared sometimes, guys. And now look at this. The body bags are gone. Uh, what? Whoa. Like it looks like we're in the, the morgue still and we turn around. And reality itself has warped. Oh man, welcome to the scarecrow levels. My God, the Scarecrow is handled so well in this game. The hallucinations. This is the first Scarecrow level. There are a number of them, and each is more creative than the last. Um, as a boss, he's not that hard to beat. But just, he reminds me of Psycho Mantis because it, like, breaks the game when he arrives. Like, in Metal Gear Solid, Psycho Mantis broke the fourth wall, right? This guy, Scarecrow, he did the same. Um, also... Scarecrow comes back in the last Arkham game in Arkham uh, Knight, and they handled him really well there, too. They didn't retread ground they had already traveled. They made it very different. So here, if he sees you, you're dead. So you kind of have to hide from his vision. And that's all you have to do to sort of survive this part. Um, but you see, like, hallucinations, like when the lightning flashes, sometimes Batman transforms into the Scarecrow for, like, half of a second. Um, you may notice it, like, uh, as I'm sort of playing through this part. But man, you know, I think all of this is to say, like, I've been talking about how good this game is, and there's so many parts of it that are so cool. And I think one of the basic morals of this is that this game was not developed by EA. I mean, surprise, surprise. But all I mean is, like, there wasn't a huge big studio that developed this game. This game was produced by Rocksteady Studios, a small gang... Uh, a small developer of about 40 people, 40 or 60 I think it was, who loved Batman and just wanted to do the best Batman game they could. And they thought of all the cool stuff they wanted to see in a Batman game and they just really treated the character the way it should have been treated. And I think that so commonly these days, oh by the way, here's the bat symbol, here's how you beat him. You flash him with the bat symbol right into his bare chested belly. like. What kind of costume is that? He's wearing rags. He should really invest in a full uh, robe. Anyway, it was all hallucination. As you can see, we did come to the morgue, but uh, it uh, we we didn't really enter a realm of the afterlife or something like that. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I think the moral of this Batman game is that you don't need to go to the biggest publisher to make a good game. You don't need to give Star Wars to EA. You know, you could give Star Wars to like... A, a smaller franchise of dedicated developers who really cared about the game, and you could probably produce something better. So, like, I think the fact that Rocksteady Studio made this game, and they made the best... I I'm willing to say it. I'm going to go on the record and say this is the best Batman game ever made. I know the sequels have more stuff going on and stuff, but I think as an experience, this is one of... This is an amazing Batman story, and it's a very well-contained story, and... The levels flow and all this great stuff, um, even if the later games have more mechanics to them. Um, oh, here's some thugs. Um, so here, let me take out these two guys. You're going down, you're going down, you're going down. Do do Just stun this guy so he's like out of commission. There we go, let's take this guy out. Okay, so if I attack this guy without... Oops. He, uh, oh, I stunned him again. <laughs> Sorry! Sorry, be unstunned. I want to show them blocking. There you go. Oh, yeah, you can't block those. But you can try and punch him. See how he blocks every attack? So you gotta stun him first. And then you just beat the crap out of him. Boom! 
It's like wearing like a leathery face mask or something. But yeah, I, you know, like my ultimate sort of feeling of this game is that this is proof that you do not need to go to, quote unquote, the biggest publisher to make good games. And in fact, I think a lot of games would be significantly improved if they've been made by like a smaller team that cared about the franchise. And you can feel, this is this game is like a love letter to Batman fans who grew up with the animated series and who just love Batman generally. Comics, everything. So anyway, we have fought our way down to Scarecrow. Um, we are finally reaching a point where we can save Jim Gordon. I think we're going to save this for part two. So I know this is a little long and we are going to have a follow-up video to this, but I just love me some Batman and I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. I hope I've done a good job of showcasing the game to you. If I have and if you love Batman, go ahead and like the video. And if you don't like the video, I'm going to assume you hate Batman and you hate freedom and you hate justice and you're a terrible person. So make sure you like that video. This is no joke this time around. Also... If you have enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with any of your friends or fam who may enjoy it as well. It's always great that when we can sort of find more people to connect with, more people to kind of join in on the channel. Um, and if you have any favorite Batman memories of your own, either from this game or just about Batman in general, please share them in the comments down below. As you can tell, I'm a Bat fanatic. I love hearing about people's experiences when they first played this game or when they just, you know, used to watch Batman, the cartoon as a kid or anything. So please go ahead leave me a comment say hello talk to me about batman i will just uh love it and until next time guys have a batastic day and you all take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon peace that was a batman piece peace Oh god! Oh my god! Oh they're gonna kill Batman! Oh Batman!